Hey guys, my name is Leonardo Madrigal from Left Handed Matters, and today we're going to be reacting and reviewing Moving On, <laughs> sorry about that, by Jonathan McReynolds and Molly Music. I've never heard of these guys ever, but just based on the cover photo, I think it's another gospel song. Maybe like an R&B song, uh, which I'm excited about. If you're new to my channel, I'm a Christian singer, songwriter, and producer, and I believe that no music is free from critique and analysis and interpretation, especially Christian contemporary music. So if you are easily offended and really sensitive about religious material being critiqued and all that, this is probably not for you. But if you want to stick around for the journey and kind of hear my thoughts and my kind of blind random reaction about this, then welcome aboard. I think we should just get into this. It's a little bit of a short song, so I'm excited to see what happens. So let's do it. So we get that um, sound like a truck backing up, but then they tied it to the music. A little bit of a Kanye West move there. I also, I love this percussion here that's keeping us track. It's like two claps, and then there's like a, I don't know, there's something else. And from faith to faith, hmm. I'm moving on. I'm those claps sound so close. It feels like someone's behind me, like clapping. And there was that random, like, overdriven guitar chord in there. Moving on. Okay, I'm loving this. Okay, the musicianship in this is crazy. So when that guitar comes in, they're doing some bluesy stuff. Or is it jazzy stuff? I'm not sure. <laughs> bluesy stuff. And when they're... He's like adding the layers, like verse by verse. There's even some more claps happening on a little bit farther away. That's a droning truck sound, the backing up. I think... I think I caught it where they put like some reverb on it a little bit and then they kind of pitched it like perfectly within the song obviously or else it would sound really bad. <laughs> but it's now almost like this atmospheric layer in the background like a pad. Keep it straight. It hurts to let go but it hurts more to stay up. Wow, the space here, the space design is so good. What I kind of mean by that is kind of imagine if you can pinpoint where the musicians are in the recording. Really good producers, and this is something I'm barely scratching the surface of, can do that. They can isolate the tracks and make it feel like they're in a certain position. They make them feel like farther away from the mix or really, really up close in the mix. Maybe only on the left side, maybe only on the right side. And that kind of element where it kind of feels like the song is evolving, especially this song, kind of feels like it's evolving around you. It's, it's almost like this picture, uh, almost. It, like these people are passing by with saying a thing or two and then leaving, and then coming back around again, and then saying something else. So that it's not just all these layers stacked upon each other, it's all these different instruments coming in at their own time, adding their own flair, and backing out. Really good stuff. I know my So I love that. He's adding in some samples here, like a drum kit sample. At least that's what it sounds like. But only at the ending of their verse. Let's see if we can catch it. You heard that? It's, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but... Right there. It's almost like it's coming in. It's almost like it's an audio sample, and then he's like cutting uh, when he wants that sound to come in. It's not like there's a drummer who's waiting there, and then he knows when to come in. It's like the drummer is continually playing, and then they're cutting him into the song in, in only very specific parts, which kind of adds this very electric kind of uh, feel to it. Oh, 
and then back on to that sample of the truck backing up, which is kind of fitting because it's called moving on. So maybe it's like, hey, back up, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to leave. Like, you know, don't get in my way almost, which I think is pretty clever. My mother told me, she told me well. There's just so much happening. I love that you, you almost heard like a church organ come in, but only from one bar. And then even the vocal switch up, I think that was a really, really nice choice. It just keeps the song uh, progressively going, keeps the energy up. I'm, I'm assuming that's that's Mali music. That was cool. They all took turns saying that part. Let me see if I can find it. So that, that was just a single guy. I think that was Jonathan and then right here. See, and I should have listened to the lyrics because it says, I know my rear view is nothing compared to what God will do. And it totally applies to that truck backing out because it's a rear view. So now we got like maybe it's a tambourine. Um, to be honest, it's now a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> There's just a lot happening. But let's continue, because a lot could happen in this one minute here. Oh, I kind of like this. They, 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 they switched it up again. I don't really know how to explain that that percussive beat there. It almost sounds like it's it's wet, almost. It almost sounds like there's a bag over it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's the best explanation. And I love that kind of, oh, what is it, like a Rhodes? I'm guessing it's like a Rhodes piano, just a lot of movement. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love when people do that. Uh, it's almost like he's, he's rapping now, uh, but he's just saying more words within the phrases. But it, it's there's a tune, there's a melody to it, and it flows so well. It almost sounded like he was ad-libbing, but it's part of the lyric. That's It's a really good transition there. Wait, what was that lyric? It's powder and I'm dry land? And I love when that guitar kind of came in there real quick. It almost feels like you're about to hit, like you're about to cross over this peak and the sun is, is over it. This is moving truck. Well, I, I, well, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Uh, first thing that came to mind, that sound design is so good. They did a lot of sample editing in here and it was all very clever. It did kind of get somewhat annoying a little bit because there's so much happening and there's so much little intricate details. There was just a lot. It was, it was like in your ear, it was far away. There was a lot of transitions happening. The guitar, you hear a lick on this side and I think it's the same guitar, but then they pan it over to this side. I would call it a critique, but it just all kind of makes sense. If that moving truck sound of uh, the beeping had no context, it was just there to start the song, then it's it's just a gimmick. But it actually flowed with the song, it was within the context. So one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to Christian contemporary music is their songs have nothing to do with what's happening. The lyrics are not intermingling with the music 
or the lyrics are just so random and the music is just so bland but here they definitely had a vision they definitely had a purpose and the song about moving on where they all just kind of said how could we make the song stand out a little bit i was actually really digged that uh kind of rap part towards the end it just added an element that i think the song needed just something to focus on just just something to hear and i was listening to the lyrics they're actually pretty clever better lyrics than some modern day rappers can really do uh just really funny really clever and it was really light-hearted for my critiques i would have to say that it, it just it didn't there was nothing too grounded in the song which I wish there was. The, the main thing that held the song together was the melody and definitely the instruments coming in and out can be very distracting. <laughs> but I think it was just because that's what I was listening to at the time. I wasn't really thinking about the vocals and I don't think that's a critique. I just think it, it fit in its place. I did think one of them was a lot louder and more powerful. And once I heard that voice, when it went back to the other singers, they kind of felt like background choir singers until I heard his voice again come again. I think it was the same person who did the rap towards the end. Then it kind of felt like, okay, now we're listening to the, the main singer again. I do love a really happy song and we take those songs for granted because so many Christian contemporary songs are so gloomy and are so boring so slow so that's all I can pretty much think of right now uh, tell me what you guys thought about it uh, if you have any song suggestions that you want me to get to uh, also tell me that on the, on the comments below other than that thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time